All right, so now I'm going to show you how to add Facebook social functions inside of your websites. And I'll start off with showing you how to embed chat. So I'm going to embed a chat right here. And how we're going to do this is first, you're going to need to go to developers.facebook.com. At developers.facebook.com, if you don't have an account, you'll have to create an account. This is required for having any kind of chat thing on your website. So you're going to have to do this if you want to integrate any of Facebook options like embedding a page or embedding a share button. So after you create your account, you're just going to come up here to my apps and add a new app. The name of this app, I had actually made one for the website before, but I had deleted it so I could uh, walk you guys through it and show you how to do it. So this is the display name. No one's going to see this except you, so you don't have to worry about it. Contact email. Enter your email that you're going to have them contact you at, and then you'll choose your category of your website. click on create app ID all right after you do that then you'll come to this page and you can ignore this on this side for now you can just come over here to settings and here you're going to enter your website that you are going to be using the chat on you don't need to use the HTTP now down here you're going to add a platform website and the URL of the page where you're going to have the chat or the URL of your website. Here you are going to use the HTTP. Okay, then you can save your changes and you're going to have to paste your privacy policy URL and your terms of service URL in here as well. These are required so make sure you enter your privacy policy in terms of service. If you don't have these pages on your website, you can easily find privacy policy generators and terms of service generators for free. And you just fill in the blanks and then it will create one for you. And then you just easily create a page in Rebel Website Builder and slap your privacy policy. Your privacy policy in terms of service, they can be the same URL. You don't have to have different pages, just put the same URL in for both of them. These two do not have to be the same website as this one. Now you'll save your changes. Then after you have saved your changes, you can go to roles. And if you would like to add people, to be able to uh, manage your app and help you with it, then you can do administrators. That's if you wanna be doing more complex things with apps. But what you're gonna be doing now, you don't need to add any administrators. Uh, then you come down to app review. It will ask you if you would like to make it public. You can make it public, confirm, Okay, then you go to developers.facebook.com, go up to docs, and then scroll down here to social plugins. And then that will bring up the ones that you can use on your website. The like, share, send, quote, embed post, video player, page plugin which is enabling you to put your Facebook page inside of uh, your website, comments, and a follow button. So people can follow you directly from your website. So for this one, let's start with comments. Click on it, click on web, then it will say comments plugin configurator. Now all you have to do is say how many number of posts here you would like it to show. So for this we'll make it 10. And then the URL to comment on. So this is gonna be the URL 
of the page where you want the comment box to appear. So I'll post in the URL for the training videos page since that's the page that I'm going to be putting the comments on. And then you're going to have to set the width of the plugin. So depending on how big you want it on your site, you can set the numbers, number of posts, It'll show you here how big it is. So maybe I'll make it a little bit bigger. Okay, then you just click on get code. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you have selected your app right here. And this is the app that you would have just set up that I just showed you how to set up. Then you're gonna copy this code here. And now wherever you paste these two bits of code on your page, your comment box is going to appear. And I will show you what I mean. Copy this one. So you're going to go to the page that you want to enter your comments on. Then you're going to enter HTML element just by clicking on any of the plus signs, going down the element and selecting HTML. Then you edit the element, delete the code that is in there, come over here, copy your first bit of code, paste that in, come over again, copy your second bit of code, and stick it in there, and save it. And there we go. I've got a comments box right inside of the training. So now people can add comments inside if they would like. Now there are moderation options that you can use with the comments and you're going to control all of that from the uh, moderations area. And if you come back to the code generator page, you can see you have different options like comment sorting, adjusting the language, and comment moderation. And then you can just click on that. And moderation is a bit more complicated, so I'm not going to cover this that in this video because it's getting a bit long. But I'm just going to show you very quickly. If you didn't want comments, let's say you wanted to embed your whole page. So where if you want to embed your Facebook page, you'll just insert your go to page plugin, insert your Facebook page URL there. If you have a certain tab that you'd like to show up, you can enter in and enter it in there or do timeline and that's going to show the timeline of the page that you have. So I entered in this page and I'm going to embed this timeline. You have these different options here and it will show you in real time what it looks like if you do the different settings. Then you just get the code and again you copy and paste these two where you want the timeline to show up and it will show up there. Same goes for the like button. Just do your like button configure, URL of the page to like, how big the like box should be, if you want to show friends faces or not, include the share button or not. Then you just get the code and put it anywhere you want the like box to appear on your page and it will appear there. Same with embedded videos, embedded posts, and embedded comments as well. So if you're looking to integrate your Facebook with your website with comments or share buttons or embedded posts or embedded videos or even your whole embedded page, 
or events if you want. You just change this tab here to events. And then if you have any events on that page, it'll show up there. And that is it. If you have any questions, you can leave them in this comments box. If you've got any questions, you can go ahead and leave them inside of there. All right. Thanks a lot for watching.